Hello, recently Jimmy Carl has been slammed for making a joke, say what you want about about our servicemen and please in Afghanistan and Iraq, but we're gonna have a fucking good Paralympic come out team in 2012. To me that's not offensive at all. People need to grow need to grow the fuck up. And for those who went to the show in Manchester and got offended by that to go to a Jimmy Carl gig then you when you were easily offended you should be a fucking mental home. Yes, I said it. Mental home. Look up people. Sign yourself in there if you've been offended by Jimmy Carr by Jimmy Carr and you're going to his shows. He tells offensive jokes. So I thought I'd let you know that he told a joke about the World War Two. They say fantasy in numbers. <coughs> Should I turn that to three million Jews? Well, it wasn't. Well, he didn't mention World War Two in it, but that was his joke. Say that to three million Jews, which fell into World War Two, of course. Now he pu put his hand up like that, like that, not like that. Wasn't like that, like that. Uh, I, I'll do it this hand there, like that. I said, I admit, that was wrong of me what he said. Um that all that what I mean to me I don't get offended. So it wasn't offended. I mean, that was more offensive than his joke about the armed people, army who actually found it funny. But we didn't get offended by the Muslims calling our shoulders terrorists. No, no. Of course I thought it was disgusting that they called the our our forces and their forces terrorist. I personally think those pe people who can't slam them as terrorists should leave this country straight away. We, I don't think, you know, I personally I would say that is treason. To, sla to slam someone who's risking their life for your freedom as terrorist is disgusting and despicable. And you, in my eyes, you are not, you're not awoken into this country. Or anywhere, any country in the West that's civilization. Just because we don't have want to have a big long beard and a and a angry face looking down, looking people like this shit doesn't mean that we're terrorists. Doesn't mean we ha we don't want your religion. We're not welcome. Okay, back onto the subject. Back on the topic. Okay, so I've been thinking of jokes that, that I can make up that offensive. Now, warning, I said offensive jokes. Now, I didn't say racist jokes uh, at all, so don't slam racist. These are these are offensive jokes I can think of. And I thought I'd share them with you. Now, the thing we'll tell the joke it's we won't go on the streets and say the N word on the streets when we cause obviously I can't sit in on YouTube, we can't say much on YouTube because people get offended too easily. I mean, soon in the courts, you won't, you won't be able to re quote what people said in courts one day because it really classes as offensive racist. Anyway, onto onto the matter. Joke num joke number one. I recently got a girl pregnant. I'm still trying to figure out how a six-year-old got pregnant in the first place. Number two, joke number two. Germany, 1943. We have no. Burger Kings in Deutschland, we, but we do, however, have a Jewish king. Now, um, about that last Bell Burger Kings, um, there may not have been many in Germany because back then when Hitler was Hitler was in power and there was Hitler second in command, they were both actually vegetarians, so you know it would make more sense. I mean. And um, the third one is Germany in 1943. Sorry, we do not have KFC here, but you can find in our country a WFJ and an AFJ. Also, fight Jews and also it's fight Jews. Jews. The restaurants are fast food, dirty, unlike KFC. They're both. The Jews, like the chickens from KFC, were tortured in a horrific ways, S transported in the trains and lorries with confined spaces, 
nowhere to breathe, nowhere to br hardly any room to breathe, and the slips standing up. And when they were in the factories or on the farm farm factories, they were they had no hardly any space to move. The only thing was the chickens were fed well, over well. We did not feed our Jews at all because we did not think that there's some because we didn't think there'd be a much more popular demand for the, for for the restaurant in the restaurants for them and we were right okay that were three things you can think of I mean whether the top Jimmy Carr or not I don't know um, so I've managed to find you three avenger jokes and I whether you liked them or not, I don't know I hope you did I hope you didn't take them away I'm not, I'm not a racist I'm um, I don't I don't I don't condone the Holocaust. I won't well, say condone the word. I don't think it was right if when I, if I condone. I think it was wrong. I condemn it. Um, and I think that um, anybody's planning the second Holocaust, well, they can go straight to her. My eyes. I think it's a rivet. Thing. I mean, if thing. Anything, if any good it brought out was, it stopped salvation, the the world from being ever populated. That's the only thing, that was good. Everything else was bad. I mean, yes, if we didn't need the population coming down, there were better ways of doing this. <laughs> so just so you know, I think the Holocaust was bad. I think it was evil. I think it's wicked. And I think anybody who's sitting there thinking this has been a great time to say. Hey mate, oh what how funny to say the whole course have. <laughs> uh, no, this is not an invite for those people at all. When I've come seriously, I mean I tell jokes. When I tell a joke, I don't mean it. I told a joke about the about the Jewish about the Jewish kid about the Jewish kid towards Burger King in Germany. Doesn't mean I would go would go to Germany, look for a Jew, slaughter him, and make a restaurant. No, no, I wouldn't do that. I might joke about it, and people would like. And I got, I accept jokes. I give jokes, and I take jokes. But what is I do? What I don't take is when people start be, start be, be um, aggressive. Nah. Okay, thanks for watching um, this special edition, and the title will be called Offensive Jokes. And um, I thought I've come with the vast joke is. The religion is uh, Islam. To be treated like like a like a comedy like a com comedy show as a big fucking joke because it is a big fucking joke, and that, my people, is not offensive. It's the fucking truth. Thank you. Peace.